Hello, this is Dalen75 Games. Welcome back to another Let's Role Play of Dragon Age Inquisition. Now, I am not feeling good. Just a disclaimer. Um, my head is pretty cloudy. I don't know how well I'll be able to think clearly. And uh, I have only three more videos to put up of this um, before I run out. So I have to keep making them. And uh, I haven't actually played, what is it, the 4th of March today? I haven't played this since the 11th of February. So it's been a while several weeks uh, over probably closer to three weeks now but I do uh, I go through all the videos quick like the Inquisition videos quickly as I put them up so I, I do and I've got a good memory pretty good memory may, may forget the little things but um, there's three main reasons for being here in the Western approach uh, I think the largest would be that the Grey Wardens are hearing the calling and believe they have little time forces coming to their corruption. A number of Panic Wardens are gathering in the Western Approach for reasons unknown. We need to find that out. That's pretty important. And we have uh, Memories of the Grey for Blackwall. And we also have, uh, we're looking for, um, not, not there, uh, Unfinished Business. Since the Seekers' strange absence, some of their high-profile cases have been left unchecked. Help Cassandra hunt the targets down. Now, if you remember in the last video, we couldn't get through the gates of that uh, look like a little bit of a fort we couldn't get through there so I'm hoping to find a way around that but closer to where we are there are red lyrium but I don't know if we can get up over this uh, canyon wall red lyrium there we have Varric with us there is a fade rift that's probably close to the camp I, if I need be I can go back but ahead of us uh, venatory see um, the venatory seem to be busy in the western approach a report from someone named service mentioned activity in a mine somewhere in the canyon so we're looking for a mine and then there's something else that our scouts reported as an unknown ahead so uh, could be anywhere what is this this leads up to something up here Yeah, I'm not sure how we can get up that uh, the side of there. It's too steep. There's no ladders like this on this side. But we need to get up on the opposite side. I wonder if we'll be able to see something from up here. Nice and hot environment. Hot and dry, and I'm definitely, definitely not used to this. Bear hide. That's it. <laughs> but can I see anything? Well, my Dalish, or Elven, eyes are not picking up anything on the other side, other than the marker I left over there. So, if we can somehow find a way over there, because that looks too steep to try climbing up and getting across. So, we'll just keep going around. This desert on this side of Orlay keeps on going on and on for hundreds of miles. Let's climb down. Don't want to jump down. Please climb down. Thank you. This I can jump. There's one of those um, hyenas. Oh, what's this? What am I looking at? It looks like a fortress behind some trees. I'm sure I look. There's also something on the other side too, but this is uh, caught my eye. What? is this okay who am I looking at it looks like Venatori actually where's the rest of my party seems to be that I'm alone out here I hear talking um, yeah I have forgotten how to save options. What did I put my uh, key bindings? Well, we want quick save, right? So I think it's just F5. Quick save F5. Okay, just making sure. Alright, so I'm going to try hitting them. Sure. Uh, I'm, not, I'm going to... Uh, last time we fought Venatori... They weren't Venatori, they're Red Templars that we fought. These are ven actual Venatoris. It's not. Uh, last time we fought them, I think, was in the uh, Red Cliff. Well, let's hit them. That got their attention. Let's 
see what the Venatori are after. Oh, this opened up the gate. There's another one ahead. Yeah, what are they doing here? Death Root. Wow, uh, I think this is the first time we've ever come across Death Root since joining the since I came to Haven. We need Blood Lotus, so. Okay, so what is this uh, mosaic piece? Oh, it's a new mosaic. The arch of the Arch Demon. Lots of death root. Wow. Can we go around here? Nothing here. This water is just... It just is out of place, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, do not go in there. Let's see if there's on the other, anything on the other side. Soap brocade. I don't think so. I don't think there's anything there. I don't mind getting a little wet. It's going to evaporate pretty fast off me. Out here, it's just so dry and, and warm. Venatory tome. Nothing that explains why they're here, though. They're so broken. That was off the, the Venatory mage. And what's this? It's an old skeleton. It's a skeleton here. A preserved letter found on the body of a messenger. Baloran. You were right to doubt. Ladius will not be swayed. If this letter was sent, then it is sealed. Send aid. Sarpedon. Sarpedon. The steel runes. Okay. Let's quickly have a look. Oh, up here. Death root right here. Yeah, it's nice to find. This is like a little bit of an oasis. It's got a little moat around there. The outside. What is this? Written note, Morvin, Lexius has failed. The work here thus becomes all the more vital. Secure the site at all costs. The other one will not tolerate another mistake on our part. Service. Ah. Now this is new. Morvin. Hmm. Work here is really important for them, I take it. And we're going to have to find out what they're up to. Uh, from Kirkwall, Warhammer, Vigorous Staff. Oh, did I miss? I missed that chest over there. That's why it always helps to do a search of your surrounding area. Amulet of strength, spiked tower shield, uh, stuff that we can sell. The still ruins. What lies inside? Hero in every port, ballad of Nuggins. Oh, the best of us ran when the dreadnought was sighted. Nuggins, Nuggins, for the head, for the he heard the call. <laughs> You'd have to pause that to read all that. That just goes by way too fast. Oh, wow. This place is full of surprises. I didn't even expect to see this here, but... I'm glad we ran into what the Venatori were up to quickly. And there's a lot of them in here. Okay, well, let's begin the, the battle then. Is that a demon up ahead? Kind of looks like it. Better take a potion. Being pelted by arrows. Now, what? This is a demon. Looks like it stopped in mid strike. Is this another Venatori? It's like time was stopped here. Unlike time going forward, time is frozen. And that is a demon down there. It looks like a fade rift. Yeah, it's a fade rift that is frozen. Now, that's something new. Never seen such a thing. Great 
for scout coat. Are these more venatory? Maybe they're trying to shoot at the demons. I, I have a feeling like I'm going to be able to trigger something and then everything, uh, all these, this moment, this area that's frozen moment of time is going to come back. And that could be very dangerous. We could get caught between the demons and the venatori. Uh, here's a note here. Venatori orders. A short letter accompanied by a map of the western approach. Several areas have been circled. Lucanus. The references are obscure, but they point to a single power sealed at the height of the old empire. The Deventer's involvement in the region predates the first blight. Detailed accounts of the location are non-existent, but there are some promising leads. You will be provided with men and supplies. Do not return empty-handed. What could that mean? Well, I'd like to close this That's fade rift disconcerting. down. It is disconcerting. Cassandra. I'm gonna examine this. Everything's frozen. I don't think this was the Venatori. It may be what drew them here. It's not just that, though. Look, there's something over there. It's like... The whole ceiling is crumbling. It's falling apart. But it's frozen in time. It's not just the, uh... The combatants here. Heater shield. Well, I guess like this, uh, parts from the ceiling are falling right now. Just how far does this go? There's a lot of demons here. There's a lot of Venatori as well. I don't think I'd want to be inside here. <laughs> the, the ceiling is coming down, so uh, when time resumes, if it can... There's a door right there. If it can be... If it can resume. I don't know if it's a good idea if any of us are inside here. Some gold and a carving of the Paragon Branca. Okay, so let's see if we can't go inside here. But you know what? Actually, I'm going to quickly run over here and look for anything. Maybe other things to examine that will shed light on what's occurred. So strange. Well, this... There's another corridor, another door over here? Hmm. This is a major fight. Let's try the door, then. I cannot seem to open it. Please try. Beric. More of the same. There's something to read here. It's a scroll. Responsible blood magic. Let me correct you, Apprentice. While it is true that blood magic is woven through the history of Taventer, there are good reasons, quite aside from the Chantry sermons, that such arts are now frowned upon. Consider the ancient magisters who once attempted to map the fate itself. A worthy goal, perhaps, but a costly one. When their spells exhausted their lyrium supply, the magisters spilled the blood of countless slaves. To what end? The shifting nature of the fade made the effort futile, and so much death left the magisters open to possession by demons. Wasteful. Some still idolize Terena of the Rock, who used blood magic against the Canari during the Steel Age. They say she cut her flesh on the shore of Marnus Pell as the Dreadnought sailed in, turned her spells against her, their crews, and boiled the very blood in their veins. A terrifying display, to be sure, but against Canari, it only made them more determined when they besieged the ports of Carastes. Carastes? And what of Magister Calanthus, that fool who believed he could make himself the Ascended Man with blood magic? Thirty-three slaves died in that right, and Calanthus became an abomination so horrific that his apprentices tore out their eyes at the sight of him. <laughs> These are really, really bad examples of blood magic. Uh, extreme examples that went terrible. The quote... You quote the examples of the lovers Crescens and Seraphinian. Yes, Seraphinian offered his own blood to cure Crescens 
of her wasting disease, and Crescens lived a long life. But if the noblest use of blood magic still calls for the death of a good man, is that not enough reason to reconsider? Letter, letter from Magister Esthia to her apprentice, 771 Storm. That was uh, less than 200 years ago, 107 years ago. All to venture use of uh, blood magic, I might add. Loot. Some kind of odd chest. Infused Varantium Salmonic. I've never heard of that. Phoenix Scales. Interesting. Heartwood. Huh. Take all. Oh, another chest. Lots of things to take. But most of it is just things to sell. This door. Uh, well, I don't know how this came to be here, but we're not getting that through that way. So we'll go to... Let's go try the other door, then we'll go through the rest of that hall that carried forward. Another thing here is telling me how this came to be frozen. I have a feeling we're going to find out. We're going to find some information. So, Varric, if you'll do the honor, please. Thank you, sir. tree growing right here. Oh, that is odd, too. But then this must be an old place, uh, before the demons and, uh, Venatori came here. Battle Mage Lightning Staff. There's a dagger schematic as well, and another chest to loot. Spirit Rune. Oh, we can use that, that definitely. Tventer Banner. Not like I'm ever gonna hang that from the walls of Skyhold. Wooden crow figurine. What is that noise? It sounds like a uh, shard. Okay, so that's all that's on this side. Let's go back up and then go through the main hall. Main chamber. These are those leaping demons that I don't like. They like to leap on me but when I hit them. <laughs> And they bypass all of my uh, warriors with their shields standing as protection in front of me. Yeah, everywhere the ceiling's coming down. Oh, this is an enormous... The text describe a chamber. This must be it. Uh, these are venatory that are not frozen. We'll put an end to uh, that. I think their leader's there. He's uh, yeah, very tough looking one. Let's uh, let's throw this down there and see how much they like that. Die! Let's put down a shield for my warrior allies. There. And you, stop shooting your bow at me. Where's that? There's another one here. I better use a potion. Got Blackwall pretty good there. Okay, this is a very powerful mage. We're gonna need to, um, let's see if I can put another shield. I cannot. Another barrier. Now I can. Tough, but not invincible. He did hurt Blackwall. Deventer Relic Hunt. I still don't know what the story is with this place. Keystone. Ancient key found on uh, Lusanus' corpse in the Deventer Laboratory. Master Cleansing Rune. Flicks bonus damage against Red Templars and Dark Spawn on each weapon strike. Huh. He was carrying this stone for a reason. Keep searching. There may be more. It's kind of like, uh, maybe it's it's like uh, Alexius' door. Yeah, it looks like another one of those doors up there. We have to find more of these keystones. I 
What's this? Another keystone. Can we go through there? I don't think so. I didn't actually have a good look of, around up here. Okay, I heard the hum of a keystone through the wall on the other side. How do you stand the Skyhold stables? They're quiet. I like having time to myself. <laughs> I can't imagine finding quiet time in that stench. They're only horses. They're not horses. They're dung monsters with hooves and tails. Dung monsters with hooves and tails? You don't like horses, Cassandra? Barbarian Warlord Cleaver. It's a rare axe. Uh... I think it's a one-handed axe, to tell you the truth. I pass it over to uh, Cassandra so she can have a look at it and see. Weapons. If I can find it. Um, Barbarian Warlord Cleaver. Yeah, it's nothing like the weapon that I had crafted for Cassandra. And what is Blackwall using? Oh, his weapon is vastly superior to it as well. So they kind of refuse. It's not something that they would consider trading their own weapons in for. Research notes. Scrawled notes accompanying several uh, complex diagrams. Theoretically, it should be possible to draw energy from the fate itself. While I will not discount the obvious dangers such risks can be circumvented through use of a proper channel. Once the channel is stable, we should be able to manipulate the energy to our will. The power gain would be beyond measure. At this time, theory will take us no further if my hypothesis proves true. It will be an achievement unrivaled by any in history that will all but ensure the immortality of the Imperium. Is this old or is this new? Either way, that's extremely dangerous if they can try to do that. What is this? I can put this on magic to put this... Oh, light on fire. <laughs> Okay, let's read this. I picked up. I guess I've read that book before. There's a chest over there. I hear the hum of another keystone. Belt of healing. Oh. Here it is. I think it's this demon killed the Venatori there. Well, this gate is close to us, as is it's like on the other side as well. If I ever weave. There's a chest up there. Uh, oh, in here. Maybe if there's spike tops, I'm lucky I didn't impale myself. Can I get over there? Uh, no. Well, this is made easy, isn't it? So how am I supposed to get up here? This, turn around. Right, jump! I think I almost had it. Holding on to this uh, torch and having your companions walk right in front of you is not helping. Made it. There's the. There it is. Gold and ornate bow. A lot of spiky things around here. I don't want to get cut on or stabbed. Not. Still missing something. We're missing two keys, I think, or one. Collect keystones, open the door, set active. We're missing one. I I can hear it from a distance, so we're already over here. Is it possible to go through here somehow? I don't... Maybe it's up. 
We didn't go on to the other side, actually. We went over this side, but not onto this side over here. This must be where the last keystone is. I can hear... I think I can hear it. Yes. It's right here in the hands of this Venatori. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video and we'll read the rest of these scrolls and open up that uh, loot over there. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll do that next video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.